Hello. Welcome to another episode of An Entrepreneur's Journey. I've been promising my followers I'm going to talk about black hat SEO and social media and just black hat topics in general. But before I do that, I had to A, pour myself a drink, <laughs> and B, uh, talk to some of the major companies. So this is a message directed at the executives of major e-commerce firms, major social media firms, major technology firms, major internet companies. We're gonna, we're, um, my next video, I'm going to talk about black hat tactics. You guys already know what this is. Fake followers, uh, fake retweets, fake likes, uh, fake ratings. Um, you guys know what this is. I'm not going to sit here and explain to you guys what black hat tactics are. But what I am going to plead with you guys, and I'm going out on a limb even talking about black hat on these platforms, right? But what I want to plead with you guys is to, instead of kicking off people that have used black hat tactics, to sandbox them. So put them in timeout and let them come back six months later. Um, maybe establish a three strikes and you're out program. Why am I stating this? I'm 34 years old. I've been on the internet for, I mean, come on, you guys know how long it is since the internet's been out, right? Um, I've tried everything, e-commerce, social media, and the truth is as an entrepreneur or as a startup or as anyone trying to make a living or even an extra buck on these platforms, what ends up happening is they test things. P.S. The pumpkin is here because it's almost Halloween, right? It's October 28th. So in three days, it'll be Halloween. So that's why we got this here. But back to my story. Please, please, I'm pleading with you guys. The Googles of the world, the Yahoo's of the world, the eBay, Amazon, um, the freelance websites, any, any tech companies, e-commerce companies, social media companies that are out there, please sandbox people that use black hat tactics. Do not kick them off of your platforms. Some of the hungriest, I've consulted over 200 clients um, that are using your guys' platforms. And these guys don't understand what they're doing. They are not purposely using black hat tactics. They're learning it by default. Someone's saying that they can buy Twitter followers. Somebody's saying that they can get them retweets. Somebody is saying that they can get them a rating. And they think it's authentic. So when you guys kick these guys off, you're doing an injustice to yourselves. These guys are some of the, and ladies, uh, I use that as a, both, right? Ladies and, and these guys are some of the most hungriest, hungriest, smartest entrepreneurs out there. They will make your company a lot of money. They will build your platforms to the next level. Um, so I've experienced this, right? But I'm not pleading on behalf of myself. I'll be fine. I graduated law school. <laughs> Come on, get real, man. I got a million ways to get money. Um, but I'm really pleading with you guys right now that before I make this next video to describe to everybody what this is, what black hat SEO is, understand that a lot of these people are trying black hat methods um, by mistake, right? By default, because they found it on a platform somewhere. So they're not doing it maliciously. And I understand your logarithms, you know, and the money that's involved. But come on, you guys are smart enough. You guys are smart enough to figure out um, how to give people a couple chances before you totally kick them off. So my advice for you guys is figure out a system to sandbox them. Now, who the hell am I? You can take my advice. You can, you can, you can leave it where you want. But find, figure out a way to sandbox them <laughs> because you guys are going to lose a huge opportunity here of people that are interested in doing the right thing. You know, they figure out that the uh, black hat method was a black hat method and they stopped doing it. There's no effectiveness in a black hat method. You guys know this. And the entrepreneurs and the people using your platforms figure this out. So, again, this video is just a plead with the big companies to try to figure out a system where you can sandbox people and then let them get back on slowly but surely. Because most of the times when they're trying black hat methods, it's by mistake. They didn't do it on purpose. They weren't doing it maliciously. And sometimes those bots or those black hat methods get stuck there. But you guys need to figure out a way to let them back on because a lot of the people that are trying those methods are the ones that are trying to build your platforms to the next level, right? That's the core people that are, are going to use your platform the most effectively. So um, I understand that some of them get around it. They open up new accounts. But I think it would be advantageous for you guys to focus on those people or focus on that problem because I know what's happening. 
Um, so stay tuned to my next video when I actually share with everybody what Black Hat SEO is, Black Hat social media, and Black Hat in general online is. I had to wear these sunglasses because it's just too spooky. It's Halloween season. No, I'm just kidding. Sometimes I wear sunglasses. Sometimes I don't. Uh, check me out. My name is Nicholas Coriano. I'm on Twitter. I'm on YouTube. I got a ton of blogs. I love all you guys. Um, best of luck. Thanks for building all those great platforms. Uh, you major companies because that's what I'm making this video for. Um, and we will talk again soon. But my next video, check us out, guys. We're here to talk about, we're going to talk about all the black hat methods, why you shouldn't be using them, which is almost all the reasons, and some of the effects that they actually do have effect on your on your uh, company or your profile or whatever, however you're using it. So check out the next video. We'll talk soon, guys.